Hello everybody and welcome back to the cavern. It's Boondok here. Today we're going to be doing a really short paint with me um, using that Afridi that was in the pole before. Um, we're going to do something just a little bit different today though. We're going to try a new technique. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have seen it before. It's called zenithal priming or shading. I've, I've seen it being either the prime or the shade. And essentially what it's supposed to do is you prime first with a dark color. So I used matte black. And then afterwards, you're going to use a white primer or lighter primer to do top-down highlighting. So essentially, you're focusing on the light that's at the zenith. So anything that would be catching that light is going to be your accent or your highlight. And anything that wouldn't would be your natural shadow. And looking at these, I mean, it, it made sense to me, which I guess it doesn't matter if it makes sense to me or not. Obviously, other people have done it and shown that it works. Um, but... In my brain, I'm thinking, okay, whenever I go to go and get a tattoo, they do the line work, and then they do the black and gray shading, and then they add the color in. So it made pretty pretty good sense to me. I figured we'd give it a go, especially with a larger figure first. Now, it is different for me because I don't have an airbrush. I did use a rattle can or a spray can um, to do both the priming and the highlights. So I didn't have as much control on where that paint was going and you can do um you can see it does end up a bit speckled um so we're gonna do him in his usual colors i ended up not using any of the citadel reds i end up using my um reaper paints i kind of did a blend of both of these together and then thinned it out a little bit so that we can see the highlighting through the paint so let's get filling on those colors so just like every other paint i'm going to do all of the base colors the flat colors first um, and then I'm going to go in with some washes and then try and apply some highlights. So you can see here how much I thinned out the paint. Like I said, I just used water. I didn't use any sort of thinning medium. And we're just going to get a nice, <laughs> one nice thin coat on there. Um, and then we'll go over with another one. So not too much of the flat white is showing through, but you still want it to come through a bit just so you can see those highlights in there. we've got those flat colors done um even all my other colorings i ended up just using I'm, i mean the msp the reaper paint for almost all of this except the gold tinting um i still use citadel's gold because it is thicker and i i think it goes on a bit better um the only part of these where i only did one layer of paint just to see how it would turn out with a whole lot of it showing through is, and you can see it here, the belt and the, the holders for those scrolls in the back. I only did one thin coat of the brown instead of a couple layered to get, you know, just to see how it would look through. Um, and this is how it looks after the initial wash. So even though we already had some of those shading metrics showing through with the prime, um, the wash makes it that much better. I used a brown wash on his skin tone to keep it kind of warm. And then I used a blue purple wash on um, the clothing and the accents just to make that cooler and make it deeper than his skin tone so we'll go in here and we'll do some accents um, I really like how the fabric came out this time around um, I feel like I'm getting a little bit better when it comes to highlighting but I mean not, not really on the smaller figures I can only get decent work on the um, on the larger ones and this is this is our finished guy i mean you can see i got him i got him off the sale rack so you can see where there's blemishing like he's got you know a little pit in his in his forearm and some on the blade there um and the basing definitely has you can see where there was some bubbling and things but otherwise i'm pretty happy with how he turned out and we're gonna have to try and use that zenithal priming in the future um we'll have to see how it goes on small some of our uh, smaller figures 
Like I said, it might be a little difficult while still only using a rattle can versus an airbrush just because of control for the small ones, but we'll have to see how it plays out. Once again, thank you all for subscribing. We went up in subscriber count again, which astounds me. Um, so if you keep watching, keep enjoying what you enjoying what you see, just like and comment and subscribe and take care.